What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malakim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Malak family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it? I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. Guards coming. Two of them. This way. Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's all right. Nobody uses it anyway. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks. Under the watchtower. A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists, break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. Yes, sir. sir. This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. Places are you! Here I come! <laughs> 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 We're finished here. Let's go. Serious? Split into two groups and rush the front and rear gates. Break through the gates and you'll have a ship. But aren't they guarded by exorcists? I mean, that pirate Von Eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here. And he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried? And Melchior? I won't force you! You want to rot in here? Then rot! I'm with you! Anything's better than another day in this rat Let's hole. do it! 
I'm going home to my family. Me too. Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl. Rogues like us are always I'm up for I'm sick a of the slop they feed us. Ceres. That ought to draw the attention of the guards. In the meantime, we'll search for that watchtower. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you, we'll use any tool I need. You're not going to escape? Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs. Or goblins. This abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing? Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the abbey join forces with the kingdom of Midgan. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet I know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure, until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Malachim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die, as long as I take Artorius with me. Word of apology?
can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. More? This one. He's a demon! Get ready! You're not human. Neither are you. True enough. He's strong. Chips in the blades already. <laughs> Brittle, these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Storm Howl. Storm Howl? That sword we found? 
You found it? Where? Do you have it? Please tell me. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. He's an odd demon. If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry! Stormhell. Could that demon be... What is it? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. He was so full of fury, but when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed completely. Don't think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. <sighs> oh, except for you. Forget it. Like I care what a Moloch thinks of me. Getting out of here comes first. Gate to the docks locked down. We can't break through. The tower should be just ahead. We've just about quelled this riot. You won't be getting away. was surprisingly easy. The prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. The path has collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Wait, you're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine.
I see you are truly committed to this. You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special power, if the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware. That is why I chose you. Let's go. Are you sure? This way leads to the main entrance. If they know you're here, they'll have found your ship by now. The guards expect us at the rear, not the front. We're almost there. That's enough. Oscar, I had no idea an exorcist praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No, I'm acting on my own. A mullet with free will? And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. A Praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. I'm all out of subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady. So I'll show you due respect. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? Huh. All right. Graceless demon it is then. Lord Artorius himself taught me the ways of purification. How will you fare against them? I will have to expend a Moloch or two for this. More of your vaunted reason! My 
wounds are fatal. Oh, please, consume me. I'm not about to. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench, no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. <gasps> this was Lafayette's. That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. <gasps> I'm just... that stubborn of a woman. <sighs> Hurry, before my life fades. Do it now. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes... are one and the same. I treasured those days <laughs> when you and I <laughs> and Arthur were <laughs> together. <laughs> Don't. But I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? Velvet! That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. Hmm. 
My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour Demon, Moloch, and Exorcist alike! I am a monster! I am a Therian! been less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Stormhowl is back in my care. Rokuro Rangetsu, at your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt, one I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters. The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. Feeling as crummy as I am. Careful. Sea's looking mighty choppy. Are you a sailor? No, but I do know the difference between a sail and a rudder. I'll take what I can get. Do what you can. You're leaving without a proper crew? Very well, then. I certainly owe you this much, at least. Brave words. <laughs> but ten minutes in this storm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. No. We won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell, or rot in a fish tummy? Well, guess it's your lucky day, fishies! I'm coming for you, Mertorius. aren't you? Sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped. I promise. You're wearing one. Oh, nah, I can't use this. Sorry, long story. And the child? The little brat? Scampered off somewhere. You ought to be scampering off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. I can hardly 
quickly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded shipwreck survivors, no? <sighs> well, then I expect this might come in handy. A map? Was that left by the child? Looks to me like we're in Northgand. Northgand? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? Something worth breaking out of prison for. chat somewhere nicer? Somewhere with soup to warm the body? Tails to warm the heart? There's a city called Helenvis nearby. I can't promise they're much for conversation, but we'll find food in a ship right there. Velvet, you know that kid? I thought I heard you call him by name. No. I don't know any Malakim. Not anymore. Anymore? Hmm. What? Well, whoever he was, there was something different about him, that's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to? And he stole that compass, too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... Consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. I suppose. Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. You think? So this is how escaped prisoners behave. Magilu, your way of speaking is as strange as your appearance. Hey, I'm a witch. I must project a proper age and dignity. I have an image to maintain. Self-improvement in all things, I suppose. So what's the difference between a spellcaster and a witch? There are many, but mainly it's a matter of nuance. It's like the difference between being frugal and being miserly. Ah, so a spellcaster is useful and a witch isn't, is that it? So I guess that makes you a witch right now. You wound me! You're one to talk, Mr. Self-Improvement! Your words cut deeper than these northern winds! <laughs> Here I come! Come on, really?
Come on, really? So nice to be free again. Able to move these bones around like I want. So, Rokuro, what got you all chained up in that mold hole? Ties to home. It's complicated. Oh, then are you really sure you ought to be taking on further debts? It's a teaching of House Rangetsu. Pay what you owe. Well, what a civilized family you've got. Were you in for long? Three years, maybe. That's why I know so little about the state of the world. Oh, gosh, me too! Art-wielding Malakim! I've never seen such a thing! How much else have I missed? Used to be witches who had a monopoly on charms and hexes. Can you even comprehend what this'll do to business? Should I even ask why you were imprisoned? Ha! <laughs> Backed for unlicensed witchcraft. It was a tale of betrayal most wicked and foul! <clears throat> Care to hear more? You'll cry. I'll laugh! Emotions will touch the rafters! No, thank you. Trouble, so much trouble. Won't somebody please help a kitty out, meow? Oh, look, another weirdo. That thing talks? What if it's a cat demon? Simmer down, big man. She's just a cat. Haven't seen one in a good long while. Cats? Is that different from a regular cat somehow? It's complicated. Cats are a mysterious bunch. Just think of them as a special kind of Moloch. Sort of. That works for me. 
I understand that they're hard to understand, at least. Hey! I don't suppose you happen to be carrying any cat spirits on you? They look like this! That's just like what I found at Titania. Perfect! You could say they're kind of like our souls to us. Cat spirits, huh? Sometimes we call them kitten caboodles, too. That's just foolish. Really? Then how about kitty clumps? Mm. Anyway, one night we were having a feast so meowvelous, our souls flew right out of our bodies. That's why I need your help to find the cat spirits and use them to emeousipate my friends. Emeousipate? Really? It means to use cat spirits to free cats who are locked away in cats' boxes like these here. Meow. Here you'd say apesipate. <laughs> this one would be edoxipate. And finally... Phew! I'm free, Meow! See? Emeousipate! By that logic, shouldn't it be ecatsipate? Wow, you're way more clever than you look! For real! I guess I totally underestimated you! Please, our cat spirits got scattered fur and wide, and so many sad cats are trapped without them! Seek out the cat spirits and rescue our poor clost brothers and sisters, Meow! And why should I? Please, think of the cats! You know, cats have weird and mysterious powers, there's a good chance we might benefit by having them in our debt. We'll make it worth your while, I promise! And, if we snub them, they might put a curse on us. That has been known to happen. Ew. <laughs> if we're doing all this traveling anyway, why not help them on the side? Just remember that it's on the side. Exorcists. Well, that's just inconsiderate. Word of the prison break couldn't have traveled so quickly. I somehow doubt they'll just let us in looking the way we do. I... I... apologize... about earlier. I didn't mean to steal this. The compass. You okay with this? He could be working for the exorcists. I'm following him. Hmm, is he your dessert? If necessary. He must have gone this way. There's a ladder. A storehouse? <laughs> that smell. Flamestone. Flamestone? Also known as Melchionite, a rare mineral only found in Northgand. Mix it with sulfur and you get explosives! Mix it with oil and you get fuel. 
Sounds dangerous. If it's true. Believe me or not, it's your call. Looks like the boy got away. Well, we're in the city now. Well, then let's scout for the Maritime Guild. Whoever's in charge of all these storehouses must have their hands in the shipping trade and shipbuilding. And we could use a true sailor, if we can find one. Now that's a plan I endorse! We dodged the sea's murderous grasp this time, but who's to say our luck will hold? We should look for some weapons, too, if I'm to be any use in a fight. You're still wearing one. Nope, not an option. who protect the whole world from demons. You can't just protect your parents. You've got to protect everyone. Oh, that sounds really hard. <laughs> it is. And it's precisely because the exorcists are working so hard that we look up to them. Yeah, exorcists are the best. <laughs> They're treated like heroes. I suppose to normal people, they are. There's a group of sailors. Is that the guild? Oh, hey, that weapon shop looks promising. Good luck with the shipwright search. Boys, poor creatures just can't be separated from their favorite toys, can they? It's true. Is this a shipping guild? Damn that dial! What does he think he's doing by trying to resist? We wouldn't be in this mess if he were dead. Excuse me. I need a ship repaired. Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. By the order of Exorcist Teresa of the Abbey. Lady Teresa. Number two. Did I give you permission to speak? Lady Teresa, how long must this punishment of ours last? You know it was all Dial's fault, don't you, my lady? I know Dial was the one smuggling Flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. This rule was set down by the Abbey to maintain order. Do you disagree with it? No, my lady. We will capture, interrogate, and sentence Dial. When this has been accomplished, you will be free to continue business. And you, girl. Aren't you cold dressed like that? I've just arrived from the south. I wasn't aware Northgand was so cold. Hutch! A young woman ought to keep herself warm. Thank you for your concern. My, my. 
So this is how the Abbey flexes its muscle, hmm? Cruel, cruel world these days. I see how things stand. If I catch this style person, you can repair my ship, right? Sure, but I warn you. He's a demon. He escaped after killing a bunch of soldiers who tried to capture him. Can't be done without an exorcist. He's from a small village outside the city. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start searching. He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd prepare for bloodshed. Hey! Anything could happen. It's best to keep our options open. While you wait, find us a good navigator. I wonder what darling Rokoro's got up to in the meantime. Let's check in on him at the weapon shop. Found a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My palate has standards. High standards. All the more reason to skedaddle! Navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned into a demon. He supposedly killed and ate his crewmates, then ran off. Demon blight? In hell of ease? What do we do? No need to worry. Lady Teresa is already dealing with it. She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Yeah. You're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not human, huh? Look, a yak. Hey, Velvet, here's a fun fact. Yak tail hair is considered to be among the highest quality materials for a helmet's plume. Wow, really? Also, I don't care. At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with yak tail hair. The talk of the town. House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it, people would say. The Helm of Yak and Storm Howl. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. Hmm? Why do you say that? Although, I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. Alpha area. 
You want to form an alliance with my gamma area to bring down the betas? Correct. It's the classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this? A council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that it? Indeed. If your alpha forces and my gamma forces work together, beta area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an alliance, Alpha Area. Excellent! We shall be victorious in this year's Hell of E's Grand Snowball Fight! Let us toast to our victory! This isn't a snowball fight, it's a snowball war. <laughs> Fools! I was the one who engineered their alliance! Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full scale assault to destroy the other. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta army sweeps down upon them. They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. All's fair in snow and war. This cold is beyond ordinary. Well, Halavis is a northern country, but still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. The cold snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that, what do they call it again? Uh... Global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day. Ugh. Who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him. Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault. Thank <laughs> you.